Today we're going to make a winter warming soup and this is the ingredients that you need. We're going for some coriander, um, we're going to use about two tablespoons if that, not all of it. A teaspoon of tomato puree, a teaspoon of corn flour, some black pepper, a knob of butter, um, three oxo vegetable stock with one and a half pints of water, a small onion that we're going to chop, a substantial carrot or around about six ounces of carrot and three celery sticks. I'm just going to show you how to peel this carrot first because a lot of people scrape them and you end up with juice in your eye and it goes all over the place. You just get a potato peeler like this, a good one, and just skim down it. And all you do is take it off like that. And you can peel them then in approximately a minute. Well, obviously you want to do it over the bin if you want, but I just do it over here. Just check you've missed any. And that's how we prepare a carrot. Just, just going to chop everything down and then we'll get back to you in a second and show you how we put them in. Right, we've got the veg prepared now. With the carrots, we've done them, cut them in, in circles and then sort of quartered them. So they're quite narrow. Um, we've got about two dessert spoons of coriander. Don't put any more in than that, you don't want to overdo it. Um, onions chopped up quite fine and your celery is sort of chopped up quite fine like that as well. Now we're going to start putting them in. And for a start, if you're going to use this, this margarine it's vegetarian or vegan so it's up to you uh, but you can use onion butter if you want but I like this one, it's a good flavour. Uh, but we're going to dab a knob of butter in here, quite a good part of it. Get the heat on and same again, we're just going to put the onion in. I'm going to let the onion just brown slightly to make it soft. So we're talking about five minutes or less on a low heat. Um, and when we've done that, we'll get back to you with the rest. Okay. Right, we've got the onion down now. And because we cut it fine, because we're not going to blend this soup, we're just going to serve it as it is when it's ready. So that onion's been doing about five minutes. It's got a bit soft. Now we're going to pop in the carrots and then celery. And then we're just going to keep cooking it for about 10 minutes maybe on the low heat again just to soften up the carrots and the celery a little bit. So we'll get back to you in about 8 to 10 minutes and then we'll put the rest in. Okay. Back. The carrots and the celery have been cooking for about 10 minutes now and they've gone a little bit softer. So now we're going to put quite a good teaspoon of corn flour in. Put it in as it is, we're going to stir it in so that it coats all your veg. And then we're just going to throw everything in as it is. So we're going to get a teaspoon and quite again a good teaspoon of tomato puree. Bang that in. Um, we're going to do three of the oxo veg stock crumble them in. Always put them in before you put the water in because if you get distracted and you put the water in first sometimes the stock when my mum makes it hasn't gone in <laughs> and then you work out what's missing. So always crumble your stock in first. And then we're going to add one and a half pints of water to this which we're going to measure in your Pyrex. more in there. Yep, put that in. And we're going to throw in, and you're talking, that's a dessert spoon. About two dessert spoons you've got there. A coriander. Don't put any more because you don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to put that in. Get it off. Stuck to the bottom. Get it off with your fingers. And then, quite a good amount of black pepper. We don't put any salt in these, we just put ground black pepper. So quite a good 
quad you can over there. Now then, we're just going to couple again on a low heat for about 20 minutes. And then what you can do to check that is just make sure your carrots are soft and your celery is soft. But if they're cut small enough, because we're not going to blend it, then it should be okay. So we'll come back to you in 20 minutes when this has been boiled down a little bit. You might get to 25 if your carrots are still a little bit hard. Okay? And then it'll be finished. Okay? Now this is the show. He's not a timer and we think he's really groovy. And my cameraman wants to call him Bruce, but I think he's more Sylvester. Well, what do you think? Right, if it's bright sunlight, he's grooving his hips like anything. If it's dull, he doesn't work. But he's very good. He was a pound shop product and he's just fabulous. And everybody comments on him when they see him. <laughs> right, when your soup gets about five, ten minutes from the end, taste it, check it. I mean, with this, we've, we've just put a little bit more coriander. Don't overdo it, but just check it, get it to your taste, put a bit more coriander in if you want, a bit more black pepper, stir it up a little bit, give it another couple of minutes, and then taste it. And when you've got it exactly how you want it, then a couple of minutes, check it out, and then it's ready. Don't need to blend it. And the smaller the carrots are, and the smaller the celery is, the better that it is, because it's not blended. Okay? We've served it up now, this is how it looks and we've got it bob on how we like it. And ideally you want it with granary bread. We've got granary in at a minute, so we're using brown. But always use granary if you can, butters as well. Okay?